Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be seeing something really, really interesting. This time, as we are all already aware that we are all in the digital era, especially on AI and ML, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning era, right? So as we talk about Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, we cannot avoid but talk about GPUs, Graphic Processing Unit. Graphic Processing Unit was once very famous, especially the times when uh, animation was really taking the main stage and also when we were talking about computer games, making computer games or rendering computer games, you know, that was the time we were extensively using uh, GPUs. And there was some point in time when we had the semiconductor uh, issue where we did not have enough uh, semiconductors across the globe, especially mining semiconductors, silica uh, chips and etc. That was a time we were extensively talking about the value of a GPU. What does this video talk about? This specific video talks about parallel processing using CPU versus GPU. I want you to understand what is process, what is a thread, right? Th this too uh, is really important to understand what is tasking and what is multitasking. Right. Okay. What is a process? Process is any running application is called a process. Right. You have a notepad.exe running in your system. It's called a process. Now, this notepad, which is a process, can have uh, threads running on the back end. Right. Uh, a functional call can be a thread as well. Right. So there are multiple threads that could be a part of a particular running process. But let me tell you. There can also be a million of such threads that power a particular process, right? Okay. If you have a CPU, you can have one thread per CPU. They have multi-core CPUs these days though, but I'm talking about specifically the single core CPUs, right? So what does a multi-core CPU have and what does a multi-core GPU do, right? So in multi-core GPU, you have support of a lot of threads. With a lot of threads, it is possible that every single thread can do a particular portion of the activity which contributes to the larger process, right? To explain this, there was a very, very, very interesting video I saw on the internet close to 14 years ago. And this particular video, I want to replay here and just share it with you because I think it is back and relevant today. It has become more relevant today than earlier. I think it is a launch event by uh, NVIDIA and where they explain about parallel processing, right? This was actually explained by one Mr. Adam Savage and Jami Hyman, right? Let us play this. There's a robot which is going to paint a particular smiley face. Let's see bear attention. And he's going to paint a picture for you guys in the way that a CPU might do it, as a series of discrete actions performed sequentially, one after the other, in three. This gets, uh, this reminds me of those old age uh, printers, right? They call it the dot matrix printer. You have a dot, 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 and so on to create an image. This is almost similar, but you pay attention to this. Two, one. Let me speed that. Okay, so what you saw is a single processing, right? Single thread per uh, uh, action, right? Now, what you're going to see here is the same thing, painting a particular smiley image, but with the multi-core CPU with multi-threads, multitasking enabled, right? That's exactly what the GPUs. This is what I would call the primary uh, difference between a CPU and a GPU, graphic processing unit and a central processing unit. Please pay attention to this device. Leonardo. trigger on this thing. 2100 gallons of air goes through these accumulators, out these valves, into all 1100 of these tubes, into these tubes within which the bottom of... You can pay attention, they are actually having close to 
1100 threads right which is going to fire the paint at once to paint an image right let's see this it's a paintball each of those paintballs will fly across seven feet of space and in 80 milliseconds reach its target hopefully when it's all said and done it's going to paint the mona lisa gpu <laughs> painting demonstration yep. and 10 9 8 7 6 5 Let's watch that in slow motion. Ladies and gentlemen, science class is now over. Thank you. <laughs> that to you is ladies and gentlemen, CPU versus GPU. I hope you all had something to learn from this. In case you did, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.